And there's an honesty to his game. Yeah. Uh, that, that raw honesty that you love when you see a young player coming in. What do you mean team. by that? That willingness to run in, in, for balls that you, others would con consider maybe dead balls. He, he, he tries things without the fear of, or, or understanding that you could get criticised for something. Rio Ferdinand speaking about Anthony Elanga there. And this video, we need to speak about Elanga, baby. All right? Not just because of that goal that he scored against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League, but the wider conversation that his presence in this team starts. And for me, he's a symbol of something that we need to be heading towards, that this squad needs to head towards if we are to return to winning ways. And I want to explain exactly why in this video. Please, if you would, consider subscribing to United People TV. If you enjoy the video, by the end, go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll get a ping every time I go live. But let's have a conversation about Anthony Langer because that goal last night against Atletico Madrid, it was a wonderfully composed moment from a 19-year-old playing in his first ever Champions League knockout game away against Atletico Madrid after we've been pumped for so long in that game. And he came up with the goods and he came up with that moment of magic and that composure when United needed it the most. And it was brilliant. From a footballing perspective, there's so much you could uh, wax lyrical about Anthony Langer and the attitude that he brings, the mentality that he has and what he brings to that squad that simply other players don't have. And you can hear, you see, you see that when, when you listen to him speak as well. This is what he said after the game. He said, when I get an opportunity for the club, I just want to repay the favour for the manager and leave nothing in the tank and give 150% every time I step onto that pitch. And if we're looking at problems at Manchester United and the systemic problems that have been there for so long at our club, it's that. It's the fact that there's so many players don't have that approach. They don't want to leave 150% every time they are on that pitch. And it's, that's exactly why, after the game, Ralph Radnick felt so obliged as to say this about a 19-year-old, as I said, playing in his first Champions League knockout game. I wish a few other players would take Elanga's example. Or like a role model. Not because he's doing everything right, but because he's just enjoying himself on the pitch. I wish we would enjoy ourselves on the pitch more. It's exactly what Rio Ferdinand was alluding to there. He's just playing with that. When it comes to youth players, they play with a naivety and an excitement that just an established professional loses. It's a bit like a honeymoon period in a relationship, right? It kind of loses a bit of its shine. And that's what happened to so many players at United. I think that's part of what's happening with Marcus Rashford and Elanga's rise is sort of being matched by Rashford's slide down in confidence and form. I don't really know what's wrong with him. We'll speak about that another time. Actually, I've already spoken about Rashford, haven't I? But Elanga, the fact that our manager is trying to use his... He, he's labelling it down there and saying he's enjoying himself, but that's just Ralph Radnick being political. That's just him being polite. It's not just about enjoyment. It's about commitment. There might have been players that wouldn't have made that run that Elanga made for Bruno Fernandes to find with that pass. And we know when it comes to this, these comments here from Anthony Elanga, this is what it's all about. Leaving 150% on the pitch, because we've seen so often this season, we've seen this. We've seen Cristiano Ronaldo with his hands down, frustrated. We've seen this. We've seen Bruno Fernandes with his hands out, frustrated. There are only two examples of what we've seen, but we've seen it so often this season from so many Manchester United players that... They almost seem like they want it on a plate for them with a knife and fork and a napkin and a nice little chair to tuck in. They don't want to work for it. And that is a major, major part of the problem at Manchester United. And that, for me, is why this lad here has made such a significant impact and difference and hopefully will be a key part of this man's United going forward. Because what Ralph Rannick is trying to do at United, he's trying to instill a serious amount of change. A serious amount of change. And I, I, I'm definitely going to be doing a separate video on this because I, the, what you're seeing now is probably why I was so excited about Ralph Radnick coming into Manchester United because I could see this was going to happen. And I'm not talking about getting a one or draw away at Atletico Madrid. I'm talking about the fact that when you listen to him speak like that, it's a very diplomatic way of saying to everybody else, your attitude stinks and you need to improve it. Ralph Radnick strikes me as the man as the best opportunity that Manchester United have to truly modernise as a football club if he is given the powers when he moves upstairs away from the interim role in the summer. I'll do a separate video on that altogether. But Anthony Langer is, is, is turning into the symbol of this new idea 
it's not a new idea, right? This idea existed under Solskjaer, it existed under Mourinho. But when it comes to work rate at Manchester United, we simply see this too often. We simply see, and I'm not just talking about Bruno, I'm just using Bruno as an example. Hands out, wrong body language, why isn't it working? I'm not real sure what I want to do to fix it. There are so many players in this United squad that have that attitude. And that's why, for me, this guy is standing out so much right now. And if you're looking at his, uh, his sort of influence and his impact, look there. There's only three games in the Premier League under Ralph Rannick. Three in a row, Norwich, Newcastle and Burnley. Other than that, he's featured in every single game. And look, he's only got two goals. He got one against Leeds. He got one against Brentford. And that's the, that's the thing I'm talking about. The influence and the impact of Anthony Elanga is not about the goals. It's about the tone that he is setting on the pitch. And it's for me probably why um, I give Scott McTominay more leeway than most fans do, because I can also see that in what Scott McTominay does. He might not have the ability of others, but when it comes to ability, geez, it, it, you sound like a broken record now, but there's no you can have all the ability in the world, but you have, if you haven't got the attitude, you're going to do nothing with it. I'd rather, I said on my live stream this morning, I'd rather have 10 players that have a 10 out of 10 attitude and a 5 out of 10 ability rather than 10 players who have a 10 out of 10 ability and a 5 out of 10 attitude. That's what Manchester United have had for like six, seven, eight years. It's why we're in this position. Now, when it comes to Alanga's influence, when it comes to Alanga's approach and his attitude, that will, uh, that will dim diminish over time. He's got that, as Rio said at the start of the video, He's got that excitement. He wants to please everybody. He does. He's, he's got a different sort of feeling in this early stages. As he settles in as a, as a regular Manchester United player, you would expect that to diminish somewhat. But Ilanga, for me, just sets it. I'll tell you one thing. I'm glad he's not English because the English bloody press would probably ruin him. But if you're looking at his, as I said, the impact is not in terms of his goal return. He got that goal in the athlete, in, against Atletico Madrid. He played 90 minutes against young boys at home. That was when the team was completely switched around. Look, at, but if you look down here, he scored a couple of goals for the youth team. But this is a key moment when you're speaking about Elanga because it's kind of hard to, it's not hard to forget, but it's easy to forget what happened against Middlesbrough. That penalty shootout, who stepped up and who missed? It was Anthony Elanga. His head was down. He was consoled by the players. He was consoled there by Cristiano Ronaldo. But it was a moment where if Elanga was inclined he could have been forgiven for sort of going in on himself his confidence being sapped but instead what we've now seen is Anthony Elanga becoming Manchester United's youngest ever goal scorer in the knockout stages of the Champions League we're seeing Anthony Elanga celebrating in front of the fans away at Atletico after he came on and delivered when Manchester United needed it the most in a very high pressure situation so to go from that from that penalty miss against Middlesbrough is a real testament to the at the proper attitude that he has towards it. Not a case of shrugging it off and pretending it didn't exist. Of course that hurt him. Of course that stung him. But he's now matured and used that as fuel for going forward. It's a bit like, what's the point in booing Cristiano Ronaldo? You're just going to egg him on. Really well done to Anthony Alanga for using that. Not in a positive way, but being able to use that as a marker that you can look back on and say, right, I don't want to be there again. How do I not get there again? It's all about attitude and approach. And I tell you what, if you're looking at this man right now, you're looking at two young United Academy players on different trajectories. Anthony Alanga's just firing up towards the sky. Marcus Rashford was that star boy at one point, but he's sort of, he's struggling this year. For me, with Rashford, it's more than just confidence now. Something's going on. As I, I, I keep saying to people, I don't know why everybody's just brushing over the fact that he missed a penalty for England in the Euro 2020 final at Wembley. I think that played a significant part mentally. Uh, but I don't know what it is with Rashford. But when you look at what Rashford's doing wrong and everything that Elanga's doing right, there's no way that Rashford gets into this team anymore. Not right now, not on form. And the fact, as I said, that our manager, Ralph Rannick, is using a 19-year-old... Anthony Alanga, who played in his first knockout Champions League game in a team which had Paul Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, Jadon Sancho and Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's using Elanga as the example. The problems in this squad, we all know, are deeper than they seem on the surface. We're not a sum of our parts. We've got so much quality and so much ability in there. But who do we have in there that's got the attitude of Elanga? And it's cliche. You sound like you're talking about Sunday League. And I, I am being cliche. 
But when these things don't exist in Manchester United's squad, that's when we need to talk about Anthony Elanga and the things he is doing right and the lessons that need to be taken by these other players. Don't take it as a hit on your pride. Just use Elanga as, a, as an example to say, right, I see what he's doing right that I'm not doing. Let's go and do it. Because if we all did that, if we, all of the players played like Anthony Elanga did with their commitment, we would not be in this mess. It is as simple as that. Because then you would match the attitude with the ability of the players that Pogba, Sancho and Ronaldo and Bruno and everyone's got. And we're not a club in a complete free fall. I think we're improving game on game under this man. And I think what he's doing is working. But I need more Elangas in this squad. I need more players with that attitude because if we have that, we have performances like we did against Leeds. We have performances like we did in the last 20 minutes against Crystal, no, against, not against Crystal Palace, against Atletico Madrid. More Elangas, the better. And I just wanted to speak about it because I love what he's doing. He keeps on impressing. As I said, you know, it's not as if he's contributing with all these goals and assists, but it's more about the symbol that he represents on the pitch and the symbol that may, many of those Manchester United players don't by comparison. Kind of lost my words there a little bit. But let me know what you think about Anthony Alanga. I'm buzzing to have him in the squad. Rhythm is a dancer. Um, and I'm just excited to see where he can go from here. He strikes me as he's got a good head on his shoulders. But as Ralph Ragnick pointed out there, and I'm going to keep going back to that because it really blew me away. We're looking at a 19-year-old for an example of how these players should be playing. That's wrong. That's completely wrong. But hopefully, they start taking it on board because if we do get 11 Alangas, we're finishing inside the top four easily this year. Hell, we might even win the Champions League. What's your reaction to the whole Alanga situation? You let me know in the comments below. And as I said at the start of the video, please consider subscribing to United People's TV. Just go down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You'll get a ping every time I go live with a video. You let me know what you think about Elanga, though. What, kid?